Whoa! Whoa, what happened here? Hello gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. And we're back with Outbreak. Uh, and we actually had an Outbreak uh, last episode. Everyone got slime lung. Because uh, I over aggressively dug into this slime and everyone just couldn't handle it. So I had to build this little hospital. Everyone pulled through. Um, and I'm kind of learning how to deal with the disease a bit better. I could probably use some more hand washing stations and more of these. Uh, or cleaning. Or scrubbers. But we are, we need to find clean water. We are uh, low. This is our clean water. And I guess there's some in here accidentally from the ice that we put in there, which wasn't melting, but now it is. Anyway, uh, and we have a little bit of clean water up here, and then we're out. So we need to find a geyser somewhere. And if we can't find a geyser, we're going to have to start filtering polluted water and boiling it to get all the germs out of it because there's germs in this water and we can't can't use it as is and the other thing I want to do is get the natural gas uh, power generation going using this geyser and this area down here maybe I can connect these and have one giant natural gas room that might be possible but I'd rather just find a geyser oh there's another room here another ruin so what should we do? I think I'm going to explore up this way and see if we can find anything this way. Let's see what's up up there. Lots of slime lung. This polluted water is actually not infected. We could filter this out. Everyone's immunity is at 100 at the moment. Got to keep a close eye on that. We're running low on food, and that's because these are all disabled due to all the excessive heat. Put another resort in. Get some more chlorine storage in here. Start making our way over this way too. Get to this ruin and also just try to find a geyser this way. could pump our polluted oxygen in here. Let that puff take care of it. Food shortage. Uh oh. Might need some mush bars. Okay, let's make some mush bars, even though we're low on water. Now where's the dirt? And how dirty is it? Not quite sure. Guess we'll find out. Now if we put a water bottler, bottler here, I wonder if they'd take clean water. Probably not. Food crisis! Come on, someone come work on this. Is no one on cooking? Got a couple people who can cook. Oh, got a mushroom. Okay. This mush bar is full of slime lung. We can't eat that. Compost. Guess we have to not make mush bars. Where's all this dirty dirt? Dirt. This dirt is clean. Why didn't they use that dirt? Where's the dirty dirt? Maybe we can try another one. Contents. Slime bug. Slime, sorry, slime lung. And slime lung on the water? <laughs> Where do we get slime lung in water? It's 
no slime lung in here. I think we'll be okay once they start growing. So it looks like the all the germs and the slime that feeds the mushrooms don't end up on the actual mushroom. Which is good. But we do have immunity going down and quite a few people. And we're going to have a water crisis pretty soon here. People are getting water from here though, but this is only going to last a very short while. Sounds like, sounds like a rock concert. Looks like a giant anus. I think they took the art from the puffed anal gland and turned it into a natural gas geyser. I want this chlorine to flood down here and just kill all these disgusting germs. I probably should have gone in this way instead. Or I could have gone this way. And avoided all the slime lung. You move here. I'm gonna go in a different way. Yeah, I want to go in the sterile way, not the disgusting, diseased way. Now we can go in the sterile way. Or semi-sterile way. This way. That'll work. Let's build a little ramp. Gonna want an airlock. Guess we'll use gold since we have it. Aha! Uh -huh. Open up this area. See what we can see. Let's check out this locker. Oh, Fridays are casual Fridays. Nice. It sounds like a bunch of scientists ran this uh, installation before uh, they all disappeared. Let's uh, rummage through it and see what we find. Oh, we got a warm sweater. What about this one? Also casual Friday. Oh, this is probably going to be another suit in here. Oh, a snazzy suit. Let's get someone wearing the snazzy suits. We like those. Who should we get in the brain chair? Let's get Harold in the brain chair and see what happens. Here comes Harold. He's going to have his brain expanded. Crank up the voltage. Oh. Okay, what happened to him? Complete the neural process. He also got the sunny disposition. That's what we got in the last time. We'll take it. We're not complaining. Negative stress is always good. I think we're dangerously low on water now. Put a liquid bottler in here. Nine. Got to dig it out a bit more. Okay, now we can get that thing in there. Opened up a tiny amount of water to us. Let me go fast though. Unreachable food. Oh, because we're out of food. Yikes. Harvest, harvest, harvest. I'm gonna set this sleet wheat to priority four because it's gonna just it's gonna eat a bunch of our water, which we don't really have much of. Oh there's lots of water in here. Ninety nine. Nine hundred and ninety nine kilograms. Okay, it's not the end of the world. So we're going to put a water purifier in. And even though this polluted water has some slime lung in it, we're just going to have to use it, filter it, and send it up here. Otherwise we're going to run out of water. Okay, there we go. Filter's running. 
So we'll get clean water that's full of nasty bits. Actually, oh germs. It says it says it has no germs. Maybe it's filtering out germs. Oh, interesting. No germs. Hmm. Unreachable food. Oh yeah, we're out of food. Keep forgetting that. I think harvest should be uh nine on these. How much sand do we have? 121,000, so we're okay for a while. Maybe long enough to find a geyser. Okay, look at this clean water going in there. That's a beautiful sight. We love that. We got another hydrogen. Sorry, natural gas geyser up here. Where's the water? We need water. Like we're in a we're in a mass desert. Not messing around with the food anymore. Nice and cool in here. Can grow some more mealwood. Got 400 mealwood seeds. No shortage of seeds. We got our food under control. Built some more up here. And we managed to cool down this area again so all the food is growing. And we're filtering our clean water, or dirty water, polluted water into clean water. So we have a source of clean water now. And somehow it's being, all the germs are being removed. I guess this filter is removing it. Even though, if you look at the polluted water coming through this pipe, it has no germs. Even though there's germs in this water. Don't, I'm not sure why. It could be a bug. I'm not going to complain at this point. May want to put my liquid pump or my polluted water tank down here and put some natural gas power generation above it. Gonna need a gas pump in here going into a gas filter and our output we want that to be high, uh, natural gas. So we got our natural gas generator running. A source of polluted water. So we're going to relocate our pump, liquid pump, down to our main new polluted water reservoir. I'm not sure I like these dust caps because they require slime. And slime's dirty and they're moving slime around all the time and they waste a lot of time doing that. So I've set them low priority, but I might just get rid of them. This mealwood is like way better. I mean fried mushrooms are higher quality, but don't really care. They can get mood from all the paintings instead. Sorry little hatch, but we don't want you eating all our stuff. So we've repositioned our polluted water tank. It's now here. And so once we've sucked up all the polluted water out of here, we'll just use this as a normal room. We must continue our search for the geyser. The elusive single water geyser. Found some more ruins up here. And I think there's some up here too. No geysers yet though. Stress is low. Immunity is perfect. Food is great. We got some water. It's full of germs though. But it doesn't seem to be causing any bad things. 
Get some nice shine bugs in here. That puffed got through. We didn't want him to get up. We didn't want him to get up here. Hopefully he goes back down. Cause we want his slime to fall in here. I'm gonna build a textile loom. Get some snazzy suits going. How did eight? I just go to zero percent so fast. She was at. It's weird. Got slime lung like almost instantly. We're actually running out of polluted water. What? Someone else got slime lung? Whoa! Whoa! What happened here? 270,000 slime lung germs. What the heck? Complete explosion. It's like a bomb went off. What the heck? Was it all trapped? All trapped in those mushrooms? I think it was. Okay. Roll back. So I put some more power in. Second natural gas generator. What I'm going to try to do is take some of this polluted water, filter it, send it into a CO2 scrubber and put it back in. That way we can get rid of all the CO2 here. So it's kind of convoluted, but polluted water is coming out of here, branching off, going to the filter, clean water is going into the CO2 scrubber, and the polluted water is going back in. Eventually we'll run out of sand, but for now we can get rid of the CO2. Well, we never found our natural water geyser, but we did get our power installed. We're actually running short of polluted water, which is pretty amazing. I thought these two or three natural gas generators would produce enough water, but maybe not. So next episode we'll have to go continue the hunt for that natural gas, or sorry, continue the hunt for that water geyser. I haven't seen one on the whole map yet, which is really disturbing. Either I'm really unlucky or... Because I read that there's 
three to five of them, unless people were talking about natural gas geysers. I think they were talking about water though. So I just gotta find it. We really need it for oxygen production, because we're gonna run out of algae eventually. I mean, we do have a puffed here that we can farm. But it's kind of slow going. Hit that subscribe button if, you en if you're enjoying these videos and you want to get alerted when I put out new videos. I'm going to probably be doing them daily for the next week or so while I build up this base with the new Outbreak update. And as always, uh, thanks for watching.